This week sees two more Oscar-nominated movies out in Australian cinemas, and the one turning the most heads is a transgender love story. Yeah, it's called The Danish Girl, starring Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander, and has been dividing critics worldwide. Here to give us his verdict is our movie man, Jason Jabber Davis. Yeah. <laughs> Jabs, the movie's based on a fictional novel, of real life characters. Does it ring true to the story? What an incredible story. Good morning, guys. The uh, the idea of the first man to have a sex change. I mean, that just, when I think about that, the bravery required, mm. the balls required to go through with an operation like that is Probably just. Probably not the best term to be <laughs> honest. That, that, that could on. be true. That could be true. <laughs> so you've got an incredible premise. You've got uh, an astonishing actor in Eddie Redmayne who picked up the Oscar last year for his portrayal of Stephen Hawking. You've got Alicia Vikander who is nominated alongside him. The film is not nominated for any of the other main categories, not nominated for Best Picture, not nominated for Best Screenplay uh, or Best Directing. So for me, this is where the story falls down. It's, it's essentially a love love story, but mm. it go, flows like a procedural TV show. Let's take a quick look at The Danish Girl. I need to see my own Let me help, please. I need my husband. Can you get him? I can't. I need to talk to my husband. I need to hold my husband. I need him. God, you just get him. Can you at least try? I'm sorry. There's just something about this film that held me back from really immersing with the characters and as one of the reviews I read this week said, uh, it's got better sets than it does emotions. It's, it's quite difficult to be there and feel with the characters. They're very Downton Abbey and of course transparent, the incredible uh, series that Jeffrey Tambor... That's Tambell. a shame because it's such an important topic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it looks like it should be incredible. I wanted so much more. Tom Hooper, who directed it, had 12 nominations when he did The King's Speech five years ago and that went on to win Best Actor and Best, uh, Best Film. Mm. I see three stars. Three stars. For the Danish girl, it's you know, it's I was looking around in a full house to see if people were sobbing into their hankies, and it seemed to be pretty dry eyes all around. Well, tell you what, the next movie you reviewed, Quentin Tarantino's eighth and latest offering, uh, no dry eyes probably. No, <laughs> yeah, just a lot of shocked faces. What did you think of the hate flight? Also, some pain below the waist in this film for Samuel L. Jackson's character. He is Major Mark West Warren. He is uh, stumbling on a mountain trail when he encounters this carriage uh, with a bounty hunter played by Kurt Russell and uh, Jennifer Jason. Lee, who is nominated for Best Supporting Actress as Daisy, who is uh, an outlaw on her way to be hanged. This is basically an Agatha Christie play set inside a cabin uh, and a reminder of uh, one in Quentin Tarantino's finest works, Reservoir Dogs, plays very much like that. I find him a little hit and miss. You say four stars. Yeah, loved it. Loved it. I mean, it's long. It's, it's three hours, but it was it's one of the most gripping things I've seen in the last 12 months. Did not think about my phone once watching this. I was just like... What is happening? What is he doing? What's really? their relation? Yeah, I had totally to go riveting. to the lolly bar and get some lollies midway through, <laughs> to be entirely honest. And there's an intermission and it goes for a very long time. I refer to it as a sort of reverse murder mystery because you sort of know that people are going to die, but you just don't know who at the beginning. Jabba, you're welcome to hang around for the next segment. If you, if Thanks, you guys. Like it's it. been great. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> be out of here. No, it's all good. I'm out of here. <laughs> Not a ferret fan.